In RoboHelp 10, it's extremely simple and easy to make a multi-level list. You're probably familiar with the method of creating a list using the first two icons up here in the formatting toolbar. So for instance, we can create a regular number list that just gives us numbers, and we could take that and we could change it to bullets. And this has been demonstrated many times. However, there is a more sophisticated way to create a list, and that's actually by choosing an icon that will create um, a multi-level list. If you look up here where we have our formatting tools, um, we're going to use three icons. One of them is this icon. It looks like it has a little red arrow inside of a list and it says create a multi-level list. And then next to it you have decrease indent and increase indent. And that's basically all there is to it. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit return. So I have a place to create some new paragraphs. And I'm going to select create a multi-level list. And I have a default style which goes, uh, which basically gives me something very simple, one capital A, lowercase a. I also can do bullets, or I can do a basic number. And you have a list of templates to choose from. I'm first of all going to start out with the bulleted list. We'll see what that looks like. You have various options for how you want to restart the numbering. Okay, and I'm just going to type in some simple text. One, two, three, four. Okay, now what I'm going to do in each one of these is to progressively indent these so we can actually see how they change. So I'm going to take this one and indent it in uh, second level, third level. And I'll finally take this one and indent it to the third level and the fourth level. Okay, and that's what that list looks like in that style. Finally, let's do one more. Um, let's go ahead and just add some paragraph text. I'm zoomed in, by the way, at about uh, 100 and uh, 40 percent or so, so this is easy to see, and here in spelling I can change that back to some. Okay, what I'd like to do here is to make another multi-level list, so I'm going to use the same icon. This time, however, I'm going to choose one called basic number. And if you look closely, you'll see it goes from Arabic A to lowercase alpha, lowercase uh, Roman numeral, number in parentheses, Roman in parentheses, repeats the Roman in parentheses, etc. So let's just do a few of these. Okay, once again, I'm just going to, this time I'll do it as I go. So I'll just say this is the first item. This time I want to just hit the indent to move over. I'll say that this is the second item. We'll make this one be the third item by indenting over. So this one is the third item. Okay, and I'm going to hit return. And let's go ahead and make it in at in a fourth level. So this is fourth item level. And let's go ahead and move in one more. We'll make this one the fifth level item. And finally, we'll do one more. And this is the sixth level item. I mentioned that uh, this particular style repeats the Roman numeral. And when you go in, it goes back to numbers. And this is the seventh and final level. OK. And uh, these can be changed by, you can change your levels at any point in time. Let's say that we wanted this to go back and be a uh, first, you know, a second or uh, first level. And this would put us back at first level. And we would just continue the process and just say another list item goes here. So I wanted you to know that you don't have to create nested lists and try to monkey around with the indents and starting numbers, etc. You basically have some nice schemes already created for you for creating multi-level lists. That's all there is to it, and this concludes our brief demonstration.